In the years leading up to World War II, battleship construction resumed, and warships of unseen size and statistical power were being laid down. Of course, the crown jewel of this food chain was the Yamato and Musashi of the Imperial Japanese Navy, which have unrivaled statistics, but the paper statistics do not matter if the shells would not land on target. During the reconstruction of battleship Hiei in the late 1930s, the Japanese used the ship as a test foundation for various components that would be placed aboard Yamato and Musashi, and this included the Type 98 fire control system, which would be improved into the Type 98 Model 1 for Yamato and Musashi. The fire control system aboard Yamato can be broken down into four primary categories. The fire control director, range finders, transmission station, and gun houses. Most of the manual labor took place with the Type 98 fire control director, which consisted of four operators. The fire control officer would lay the fire control director on target using his periscope with a magnification of anywhere from 10 to 20 times. The cross leveler would stabilize the periscopes for the trainer, whom would chase the horizontal movement of the target, and for the layer, whom would chase the vertical movement of the target. The layer was also the trigger hand. This meant that when the order to fire was given, he had control of the guns. The values collected from the fire control director would be logged in the Type 98 target speed and bearing panel, which would then send the information off to the Type 98 computer. Next we have the range finders, which there were three different types aboard the Yamato and Musashi. You have the Model 1, which was in the rear of the three primary turrets, the Model 2, which was atop the bridge tower, and the Model 3, which was atop the after tower. Models 1 and 2 both had a base length of 15.5 meters, while Model 3 had a base length of 10 meters. The Model 2 rangefinder was located 40 meters above the waterline, which enabled it to spot targets up to 32,000 meters away. The sole purpose of the rangefinders was to measure the distance from the rangefinder's position to the given target. The greater the base length, which in this case would have been 15.5 meters, the greater the visibility and the greater the accuracy of the spotting. As the distance between Yamato Musashi and its targets closed, the rangefinders in the rear of the turrets would also be capable of locating targets, and thus the fire control computer would receive four range values to increase the accuracy of the ship even further. As for the Model 3 10 meter rangefinder, that was only a reserve rangefinder and it also housed a reserve fire control director. All values collected by the director and rangefinders would be sent off to the Type 98 computer, which was located between barbets 1 and 2 underneath the armored deck. The computer also received values regarding weather, Yamato's speed, and Yamato's course. The values would be received by two sections of the computer the top and bottom, which would carry out the calculations of the numbers, and then the completed values would be sent to the center section of the computer, which would plot these numbers and then transmit them back to the fire control director. The computer was divided into three sections in order to reduce the chance of errors occurring through friction of mechanical gears. Any errors that were calculated in the final number could result in a guaranteed miss. Once the computer had calculated its numbers and sent the training angle and elevation angle of the guns back to the fire control director, they would input these numbers into an electric system, which would automatically train and elevate the guns. Once confirmation was received that the guns were on target and they were all loaded, the fire control officer would order fire and the layer would pull the trigger. The guns would not fire at the same time. The blast pressure of the weapons could cause deviation in shells, so there was an electrical system that caused the guns to fire in 0.6 second intervals in order to decrease the chance of shell deviation. Once the shells had left the barrels, they would fly to their target, where they would be spotted from the Type 98 Fire Control Director and the Model 2 Rangefinder. The Type 98 computer in the process had already saved the values that had been calculated before, and it was automatically adjusting the elevation and training based off the course of the ship that had been previously inserted, so if a hit was scored, the computer could immediately follow up with a new training and elevation angle on the same course. 
If no hits were obtained, then the course, bearing, and range of the target would all have to be re-input to the computer for new calculations, so effectively the fire control director and rangefinder had to start back at the beginning with brand new values. Assuming that there were no errors in the system, this was a process that could be repeated roughly every 60 seconds. While it is true that many components of the Yamato's design were not tested in the face of battle, luckily from a historical standpoint, the Type 98 fire control system is an exception to that rule. With that having been said, there is nothing more to add on to this topic for today. So, if you have enjoyed this video, why not leave a like and a comment down below, and have a wonderful day.